The biggest reason for not riding in the city is worrying about safety. I mean, it can be quite scary with busy junctions and lots of moving cars, but it doesn't need to be. No, with a bit of advice and some regular riding, you can build up your skill level and your confidence. So in this video, I'm gonna give you tips to help make you feel safe, confident, and in control while riding. All right, let's go, shall we? Before you set off, make sure whatever bike you're riding that it's well maintained and in good working order. So check your brakes that they're gonna work when you need them. Check your tire pressure is correct, that way you'll stop getting yourself all those punctures. And why not check your gears too to make sure they don't slip. Keeping a bike in tip top shape will ensure you won't get distracted with any squeaks or any rattles. Right, once you've done that, well then you can hit the streets. Equip your bike with front and rear lights, especially in the winter, but you could also do this in the summer. This will help you get visible in night riding, but also on those gloomy daylight hours too. It's also a good idea to leave the lights on your bike, that way you'll never forget them. And why not think about adding a bell to your bike too? This will ensure that pedestrians know and are aware of your presence. Being prepared and equipped will help you reduce and manage all those hazards that the city can throw at you. Pedestrians, traffic and busy workers, and also, yeah, those unexpected surprises. This can't be the way. Where the office isn't down this street. I mean, the biggest fear for city riding is getting lost, not knowing where you're going. So top tip for you, if you can find a colleague or a friend that you can follow, then do so. That way you can focus on you and your surroundings instead of directions. And if you have to ride solo, unfortunately I am because, well, I got no mates then it's okay to stop, pull over in a safe area and check the route and check a map. Know exactly where you're going before you set off again. Now the last thing you wanna do is get fixated on a navigation app or something attached to your bars because, well, in traffic, that is gonna be dangerous. So make sure you keep those eyes up. Not like that, yeah, that level, you know what I mean. Positive engagement with other road users will ensure you're spotted easier, but it'll also make you feel that bit safer, especially when you're in junctions like this one here. Making sure you signal clearly and in advance is absolutely imperative. And you could also have eye contact with that road user that will ensure you're treated that bit better and given enough time to maneuver. One thing to remember though is check, signal, then maneuver. Just like Hank did there, nice one. 10 out of 10 hang. Also worth um, practicing. Why don't you practice this on a quiet bit of road so you can ride in a straight line, but also look behind you too. Just like Hank did there. I mean, guy knows exactly what he's doing, isn't he? The best piece of advice I've ever heard and the best piece of advice I can give you is don't be erratic and ride predictably. Ride smoothly, that way all the road users know exactly what you're doing and they can judge accordingly. Take the cycle lane if it's safe to do so, but it can be that you're riding on the road and it's actually safer. It all generally depends on what city you're riding in. The one thing I would say though is to don't ride too close to the edge of the road, not in the gutter, because that will just encourage cars to overtake you too closely and you won't be able to avoid hazards like parked cars or potholes. If you're on the lane though, you can take control of it. That way you give yourself enough room that if there is a hazard like parked cars or potholes, you've got enough room to maneuver around it. Taking the lane is legal and it's advised in the highway code. Blind spots, yeah, they're real, especially on big vehicles. But one thing to remember is never, never undertake because the blind spots of these vehicles, well, they're absolutely massive and they might not have seen you creep up on the inside before they turn. So one thing to remember is hold the space in your lane, give them a lot of space just in case they're reversing and make sure you can see them and the driver can see you. If it's safe to do so though, you could move to the front of the traffic on the outside, keeping nice and safe. Mm -hmm. 
City surfaces tend to be quite oily and slippery, especially in wet conditions. And they also have a whole load of different surfaces, cobble streets, concrete, and even tarmac. When you're riding in wet conditions though, make sure you avoid the white lines or even the yellow ones, especially when cornering. And some cities have them, some don't, but tram lines can be absolutely lethal, especially if you get your wheel caught in one of them, because uh, what I've learned from experience, it doesn't end well. So if you do come into contact with a tram line, ride it at an angle and bunny hop it if you can. Manhole covers, again, another slippery surface, but if you can't avoid it, then ride over it without braking. Because you break, well again, it's well, not gonna end, end well. Now this is something we've all done, but you know when you're commuting, there's lots of bike riders around and you can get all competitive and start racing other commuters and then you'll arrive at your destination all sweaty. The thing I would say, don't race, leave the race to the track and enjoy your commute, ride nice and easy and that way you won't arrive all sweaty and you could, well, not cut up any other cyclists in your process. Enjoy your commute. I mean, use it as a relaxing, a time of relaxation. I hope you enjoyed this video because I've got to say, riding a bike around a city is by far the best way to get around. Now, I hope these tips and tricks have helped you made you feel confident, have fun, but most importantly, stay safe while riding in the city. Right, take care all, and I'll see you in the next video. Yep.